<laughs> Ready? Go. For this young mom, it's hard to remember what life was like just one year ago. I feel so good. I have not felt this good, honestly, in, I would probably say 10 years. Nicole DeMeo survived a double lung transplant. Last year, at 30 years old, she was fighting for a chance to get back to life with her two young kids. My chances were not good. But when we met her, she was not walking, she was not talking, she wasn't breathing on her own. DeMeo was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when she was young. The rare genetic disease led to a life-threatening lung infection, but her kids never lost hope. Never stop believing, because if you stop believing, it might not happen. DeMeo was here at University Hospital for two weeks, waiting for a double lung transplant. Then finally, her family got word they found a donor. Hitting my year mark, I was thinking, wow, that one person, if that one person who I still, you know, I don't know who he or she is, if they didn't make that choice to be a donor, I would not have had lungs. Here's your mommy's lungs. Aren't they beautiful? The black part is your lungs, and this is her heart. Okay. The hurdles more for me have been a lifestyle change. There's certain things that I can't do anymore, but then there's so many things that I can do now. And seeing DeMeo run alongside her daughter is a great example of how strong she is. She did amazing. We do those walk tests every year to see how the patients are progressing. The best part her kids say is knowing their mom is back. We can go to the movie theaters and we can and she can run fast. I could have not made it and I made it for a reason. I have a purpose. My kids need me. It's their love and her faith, this mom says, that keeps her going. Grace White, Fox News at 9.